Markle and our gracious Majesty the Queen. Truly, what did Her Majesty think to her upon meeting? And more importantly, how close was that friendship? Hi, welcome one and all. Nice to see you. I hope you're all keeping well. Nice to see so many brand new subscribers. I often say this. Thrilled to say this, so it's good to have your company. As ever, let me know what you think to the stories that we're breaking here, live and direct from London, in the comments below. This particular story all centres upon the very first meeting between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and our gracious Majesty the Queen. It's sort of gone into folklore now as to how welcoming uh, she was within the family. Of course, this is really confusing too because it wasn't necessarily the story that Meghan and Harry gave to Oprah Winfrey. Of course, Meghan was gracious enough to say that Her Majesty the Queen was indeed a very special person and very welcoming. For that, we have to be grateful. But this new documentary basically speculates on exactly what happened when Meghan met the British monarchy. And it's interesting to note because certain royal reporters are basically saying that, oh yes, it went incredibly well and Her Gracious Majesty the Queen, who met both Harry and Meghan after a church service at Royal Lodge in Windsor, was so impressed and so inspired by them both that the meeting overran. And they're speculating this simply because they said that uh, basically, you know, meetings do not overrun. She has a very tight diary, um, the Queen, and doesn't really sort of break from that. The background really, if you do a bit of research, is this. She was busy talking afterwards at church of which she'd been. That's the reason why she was slightly delayed. Nothing to do with the meeting overrunning. It was a very small, sharp and informal chat, which apparently Her Majesty the Queen got on incredibly well with Meghan Markle much to the relief, of course, of Prince Harry, who was desperate at that time to get the Queen's approval. While he doesn't need her approval to marry, of course it wouldn't do the wrong thing to get on the wrong side of Her Majesty the Queen. After all, you're expecting her to fund and put together a spectacular wedding. You know, the wedding that Meghan Markle decided to call a spectacle. You get the picture. But how truly did it pan out? Well, according to a very good source, while Her Majesty the Queen was, shall we say, silent on the matter, silence, I am told, from Her Majesty speaks volumes. She said, yes, yeah, she'd met her and um, there was a few sort of nice, polite words, but no infusion, you know, no great, wow, it was wonderful, she was great. What a lot of people around uh, senior sources and senior members of the British monarchy concluded was that she almost seemed too good to be true almost as if she'd read a manual, a diary, and as ever, we have to say, allegedly. Now, as we know, Meghan Markle herself basically said she didn't know too much about the British monarchy, even though she'd become friends with Princess Eugenie a few years prior to this, and more importantly, according to other friends back home in California, knew a lot about the royal family from endlessly watching reruns of Princess Diana's wedding to Prince Charles in 1981. So what are we to believe? Well, according to that good source, yes, Her Majesty, as ever, is truly polite, welcoming and engaging with people. But more importantly for her, and this is really pivotal, there wasn't really any great sort of serenading of, yes, she's going to make a great member in addition to the British monarchy. As ever, with Our Gracious Majesty the Queen, she decided to reserve judgment. And as ever, she was right to do so. So this documentary to claim that it was a spectacular success and everyone all round, of course, thoroughly enjoyed meeting Meghan and couldn't wait to welcome her into the family. Well, let's just go back to our gracious Majesty the Queen and say this as a final word. As ever, recollections may vary. But as ever with these documentaries, it possibly doesn't fit the narrative of which they're selling, particularly to international sales, if you get the picture. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.